Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Today's game features a very good pass rush. The Panthers are top 10 in total sacks, and they'll be up against the Eagles team that will need to deal with them all game. EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to the Carolinas and Bank of America Stadium here in Uptown Charlotte. Just a few moments ago, this building was shaking as the Carolina Panthers emerge from the tunnel here in Charlotte. They are ready to go as the Panthers are set to match up with the Philadelphia Eagles. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. And he'll get across the 20, but only to about the 22-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Ajayi. And he finds some space past the 25 to the 27. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. And the defense searches for one more stop here after the run on second down. Wentz looking to throw on third and two. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. Well, let's see here, Charles. He was sacked six times last week. Now a first quarter sack. What's going on in his mind? Well, he's thinking to himself, five offensive linemen. I got sacked six times last week. Let's start thinking about keeping extra people in. Tight end stays in. If I have a fullback or the running back, they stay in and help me block. Maybe not as many receivers in a pattern. Anything to try and slow down that pass rush. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the Panthers will take over now first and 10. for Christian McCaffrey. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Man, it wasn't that long ago that the guy playing that spot was an outside linebacker type of a guy. Now, as a defensive end, how about the speed that he used to get into the backfield and make the play? And they're behind the sticks here a bit now, dealing with a second and 12. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. And he got a little aggressive too early. And he did, wanting that quick takeoff as the ball was snapped. But I think sometimes those big guys on offense, they're pretty cagey too, right? They make those little sudden moves or those little subtle moves that get you to jump. McCaffrey following the penalty. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. That goes down as a loss against his rushing stats. But really, should he have to absorb that one? He had no chance on that play before they overwhelmed him. Pretty much on top of him before he could take his first step. Throwing on third down, Newton. And he finds a man, it's Olsen. And he'll be brought down with the first down and a late flag here too. And he may get a few more tacked on for good measure. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mats. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march up another 15 against your squad. Cam's going to run the option right. Now that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. Now he lost six there on the first down play. Left 
They'll try the air now with Newton. Looking for Funches, but it's intercepted. Picked off at the 21. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. Well, this is a defense that can confuse even the best of quarterbacks with their zone schemes. And here you've got a linebacker that's going to stay at home and just sit down in that zone. And this one basically comes right to him. So after the INT, here's Wentz. And complete to Zach Ertz. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A very solid gain of 27. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. Wentz now on first down. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Mike Adams. The 30. Past the 20. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. Did I just see what I thought I saw? Did I just see what I thought? That had to be. Come on, say it for me. Let's say it for me. <laughs> he picked up that pass. The free safety. Oh, you got to have those great skills back there. Eyes, anticipation, great hands. And, of course, how about the fluid moves afterwards to take it all the way to the house? Sounds like you're watching your old game film up here in your head. Yo, know, that's the dream I had of being that player. I just never was. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. And this is a unit that, to be frank, doesn't look like they've woken up yet. I mean, a punt and a turnover on their first two drives. And I think the game's starting to take shape a little bit now. And I'm going to take it into the basketball world. When you're having trouble scoring a move. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Julius Peppers in there to sack him. And that is 10 for him now on the year. Second down now after the sack. Shotgun now for Wentz. Jeffrey reels it in over the middle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. He got 29 yards that time. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be taken down right around the 41-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Now, look, that wasn't a huge gain, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get them going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the Absolutely. ball? Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched him more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake, and they've taken care of that early. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he gets it to the 34, good enough for the first. They're just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. It just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you should have a few men in the box there. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. And the play goes for 19 yards. Gives him a new set of downs. So the offense has it first and 10. From the red zone now, Wentz. This is caught. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And the return just out across the 15 to the 16-yard line. Off 
often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But, hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not even going to tip it. I'm going to doff my cap to him. Congratulations. Big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And he'll lose yardage here. Back to the 15. It's a loss of a yard there. And now second down. And our statistician, Ben Ramsar, just held up three fingers to remind me he now has three tackles for a loss rolling in the first quarter. Well, Ben's got it detailed perfectly. He always gives us the right stats. I'd love to be on the offense's headset right now because what you're hearing is, can someone please block him? Come up with a scheme. Come up with something. Make sure you block him because he's disrupting everything. It's a loss of two. Now third down. Michael Bennett's versatility, being able to play any position along the defensive front, allows him to make those types of plays. He finds good matchups and gets into the offensive backfield. And there it works for a tackle for loss. Third and long, it's Newton. And he gets it to Funches complete. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. 17 yards is the pick up there for number 17. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. He was well over 100 yards last week. He told us this week, a little ambitious, that he wants to hit that 200 mark. We'll see. Makes sense, though, doesn't it? Have we ever run into a running back that had a great game the week before that didn't think that's just going to naturally continue? Just make sure you feed me the football. And that's what they're all about. Continuity, rhythm, number of carries. Just keep giving it to them. So incomplete on second down. Now they'll look to convert here on third. The shotgun snap for Newton. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. We've been together a little while now, partner. How often do we actually describe tight ends as nifty? Because that's what I think of when I see Greg Olson on the field. His ability to run routes, create space and separation, and make those catches downfield. Yeah, sure consistent. The numbers the last couple of years almost identical and both over 1,000-yard seasons. And here comes play number six on this drive. Back to the ground attack here. It's McCaffrey. And bulldozing his way, taking it right down Broadway. Touchdown, Carolina. A big play there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Panthers add on to their lead. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Eagles offense now gets set to head back onto the field. And they'll be looking to atone for last time's mistake of fumbling inside the red zone. Certainly they don't want to do that again. And so much emphasis placed on red zone offense. I mean, you have periods devoted in practice just for that because everyone knows how vital it is to put points on the board. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. And on the left side here, Wilson. And he takes this one just shy of midfield all the way to the 49. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. Now it's a giant. And he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. 
I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. That is caught right at the 10-yard line. He got 29 yards that time. Nice movement there by Carson Wentz outside of the pocket, completes another pass. Help me out here, partner. He's not sneaky athletic. <laughs> he is athletic. How many times do I have to say it? Yeah, you've been making that declaration for a while, and at 6'5", he ran a 40 of 477. So not only big, but he can move. That's a good time for a quarterback. He and Andrew Luck, similar. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off with great anticipation. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. When a team's turned it over three times in the first half, we just look at the offense and say, guys, what are you doing? But instead, we really should be looking at the defense. They've created the takeaways. Two interceptions, one cause fumble. They played awfully well swarming to the ball here in the first half. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And he'll take this forward only up to about the seven. A gain of three, second down. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got them pinned down deep. And on the first play, they gave up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down. That's what they talk about, Dust, all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. Caught left side by Funches. And he is out of bounds, able to get it across the 20-yard line. Newton finding Funches for the Panther first down. Newton going to hand it off to McCaffrey. And he'll get only a couple up to the 22. Well, he was looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it. Because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. Second down, McCaffrey. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. But now they're in a spot that every team tells us when we have our production meetings they don't want to be in third and long. And that's because those back-to-back -back running plays just didn't accomplish a whole lot. The Panthers on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and seven. Out of the gun, Newton. Taking a shot for Samuel. And that one incomplete. Had some position, but couldn't hold on, and it brings up fourth down. And it is true. You can draft the fastest. You can draft the most athletic guys. But if they don't know the art of positioning, sometimes it's all for naught. In this case, in the right spot, help force the incompletion. Yeah, but had his hands on it for a second. Would have been a tough catch, though. Falls incomplete. Taken in at the 11. <laughs> Oh, that's just not fair, and now room to run. A very good return that time. 18 yards, and the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. They go back to the air here after the IMT on the last drive. Going to look deep for Jeffrey. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. Another dangerous throw there, partner. I mean, he's already thrown two interceptions here in the first half. I don't know if you want to keep throwing up 50-50 balls and you've had that kind of lack of success. Yeah, absolutely. Very well could have been a third interception in half number one. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? So a jump there defensively. And it's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. Second and five. Working from the gun. Wentz. And he comes back with one complete. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Good cover defensively as they get to him just beyond the 45 after the juke. Just a yard on the pick up there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again, go play action. 
action hit him over the top. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. And that's one of his advantages of a passer, is it not? With his height, setting back there in the pocket, firing it over the middle, he can really see everything clearly. It is, and I know that other quarterbacks get it done different ways, all right? You don't have to be his height to make a great play. But what he does is he takes away having to make those slide steps in the pocket to find angles to throw the ball through. He just throws right over the top of it because he can see everything, and sometimes that saves time and gets the ball to a receiver quicker. On play action, Wentz. Buying time to his left. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Wentz can pull it down when he needs to, and the 6'5 quarterback picks up the first down. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Wentz now on first down. That's into the hands of Wallace over the middle. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Two minutes remain here in the first half. Back with more from Charlotte after this. On second down, here's Wentz. Flush to his right. And he slides to avoid the hit. Taking matters into his own hands, and he picks up four yards and a first down. First down now, but the clock continues to move. On first down, Wentz. And for the third time here, this half, it's intercepted. It's the Pro Bowler, Luke Kinkley, that picks it. And a short return will be stopped inside the 10 at the 8-yard line. The Panthers' offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shot of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. A little bit of ground to make up for the offense as they face a second and 11. From the gun, here's Newton. Looking for Funches, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Malcolm Jenkins. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, Chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. That is caught inside the five. And they do get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A good pick up there, 20 yards. They'll try to run with a J. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Jay Ajayi with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Eagles are back with it a score. And this is back to a five-point game. Elliott now to kick this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. Here's Newton now on second down. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. So now Cam leads the Panthers up following the sack. Carolina facing third and long. 
They'll run it now out of the gun. And the window closes quickly. He'll only get up to the 22-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Set him back five. Here's Michael Pilardi now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. Fielded at the 20. And he is out of bounds, getting it just shy of the 35. So possession goes over here on the punt. And there will be time for maybe one final play before halftime. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. A final shot before half for Wentz. Wilson snags it left side. So we have reached halftime in what's a six-point game at the break. As we'll send you down the coast to Orlando, where we check in with our friend Larry Ridley and the EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry, so both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Out come the Panthers. They'll have it first on offense in the third quarter. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had an ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and it'll be third down. Play clock winding down. On third down, Newton. A bullet throw, but incomplete. Well, too much oomph, too much mustard there on that pass. Yeah, really turned it loose, didn't they? Really cut loose with that one. Sharp, strong. Didn't lead to a completion, though. Made it very difficult. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And heavy contact. He is knocked down hard at the 24-yard line. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance to turn that into points on the offensive end. Can you imagine what the grease board looks like at the half? Because no, tell me. That's exactly what they printed up. 
stop them on defense, get the ball back for our offense, and go downfield and score some points. Now, the last part remains to be seen, but they got the first part done very well. Do people use grease boards, or you mean the magic marker board? Yeah, those two. <laughs> <laughs> Wentz to throw on second down. Looking left sideline, it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 23 yards on the play. Throwing on first is Wentz. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Mario Addison able to use that strength and get him for a loss of two. Now Wentz throwing on second down. The 20. He's got Wilson middle of the field. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15, just shy of the 10. That one goes for 36 yards. one losing yardage back at the 12 that's going to go as a loss of a yard and it'll be second down well that's the big drawback to this play even if somehow the quarterback pitches it he's not immune to the big hit in this case he kept it and absorbed it anyway now after the completion we're going to get a timeout an injured player while the trainers take a look we'll step aside and on third down a nickel formation here defensively Here's the first carry for Alex Collins. And he'll keep working toward that end zone as he's down to about the two-yard line. The ball's still a few inches shy of the marker after the three-yard run, so now a little soul-searching on fourth down. Line of scrimmage, the two. They can still get a first down if they just get a yard out of this on fourth and very short. They run for it with a giant. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Jay Ajayi, his second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year. And the Eagles are now just an extra point away from grabbing the lead. Elliott now to add the extra point. And that one puts them on top here in the third. Elliott now to kick this one away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Here come the Panthers now set to take over on offense. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Well, you had to punt on your first drive, and on the first play of the second drive, you end up going backwards. I would dare say they need something good to happen right here, right now. To throw on second down is Newton. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Give him nine on the play, and they're going to have a third down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. Well, he didn't make headway on that one, but he's had plenty of carries all night long. I just wonder if maybe he's a little bit tired from toting the rock that much. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. This is taken at the 15. 
Good blocking there. Nearly sprung him as it is. It'll go as a 19-yard return. And that will come the offense as they take over. up the sack and a loss of eight. gain of 25 yards. Well, even after all those interceptions, he's not deterred, still confident to go deep at work there. I think all the old rules about playing that position still apply. If things go wrong, you still act like you're the best player out on the field. You still carry that supreme arrogance with you and continue to fire the ball. I've seen guys have games like this, and this is where you find out if you're great or not. Can you overcome some interceptions and still lead your team to victory? And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. Brandon, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job to force the incompletion. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A big hitter there, a first down gain of 26 yards. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Alshon Jeffrey, the intended receiver, and it's second down. I like the boldness, and I like that they took a shot downfield, but it was well covered, and he was able to get a hand in and knock it away. Second down following the incompletion. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Just a couple there on the second down run. Now they're staring at a third and eight situation. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Now Wentz on third down. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Five yards that time out of the scramble. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. And the kick by Elliott is good. And that'll move their lead up to four now. So the drive stalls out, but they are able to put three points on the board. Yeah, just a yard or two shorter than an extra point. So no problems converting there. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Now the Panthers offense, they get set to come back onto the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Second down. Here's Newton. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Maybe a little frustration starting to creep in. The offensive line hasn't done a great job of protecting him in this game, and there he was, hit again as he threw it. Yeah, another time on his backside. Probably starting to get a little frustrated. Got to keep his composure. Can't let the defense know that they're getting to him. Now Newton, and he fires one, but incomplete. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here, 
But that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open. And this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass. Incomplete. He'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Marquise Wilson, the one he was trying to get it to. And that'll bring up second down. Had an open man that time. We ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. So they're still at the original line of scrimmage here. Second down and 10. From the gun, it's Wins. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack. Back at the 47-yard line. Mario Addison in there to drop him for his fifth sack of the year. And we're back now in Charlotte. It's the Eagles in possession of the football and leading this one as we get ready to start the final quarter. The Eagles on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and 16. Shotgun now for Wentz. They're able to locate Wilson. At 21 yards there as they convert on third. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Now a play fake here on first down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. K1 Short in there to drop him for his fifth sack of the year. Wentz. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Wilson. And he's going to be taken down, but not before reaching the 15-yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. And that last reception puts him over 150 yards now on the game, Charles. And now it's not just execution. It's not just performance. It's a mental aspect that's going on. Because right now, he has kept the defense so much on their heels. Got them looking at each other. Who's going to cover this guy? And what type of coverage can we put out there to try and slow him down? They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Jay Ajayi, his third touchdown of the game, 10th on the year. And the Eagles add on to their lead. And the lead will grow by one more. Elliott now to kick this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with them putting the football away. Yes, yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. But you know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. It'll wind up being a loss of two, and that's going to make it third down and ten. Top 
separating from the gun. Newton. And look at this. Cam Newton intercepted a third time. Picked off near the 42. And they will finally get him, but not until he's all the way down inside the 15-yard line. That's now a second interception in as many weeks from his linebacker position. And think about all the different techniques he has to employ in a passing situation. Is he spot dropping because it's zone? Is he picking up man-to-man? -man? Is he having to run with a running back or a tight end? In any event, great eyes, head on a swivel, and excellent hands. Yeah, versatility and showing those hands. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. The Eagles on third down, two for five to this point. Here it's third and three. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Not even going to get back to the line of scrimmage. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. So the myth has been shattered. Every cornerback in the league is not just a cover corner. Some of them will stick their nose in there and make plays exactly as we just saw there. A big loss suffered by the offense after that nice tackle. So they settle for just the three there, but clearly anything helps when you're trying to salt one away here in the fourth. Without a doubt, I think a touchdown would have been the final nail. But three does give him some breathing room and lets him build up a little cushion. And onto the field, here come the Panthers. Shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Timmy Jernigan forcing his way through there to drop him for a loss of a good ten yards. Looking to throw on second down. Newton. Timmy Jernigan in there to drop him for his fifth sack of the year. So, Brandon, we've sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet. From his end zone, Newton on third and long. And this is going to be incomplete. If you're a defender, one of the fun things about playing zone defenses, especially in today's football, is that it's not as static as it was in the good old days, meaning you just dropped to a point and reacted to the football. Now you end up with a lot of man-to-man -man principles once you get into your zone defense. In other words, get to your assignment and then locate a guy coming into your area, and then you end up covering him almost man. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off by Jalen Mills. When you're on your own one yard line like they were, oftentimes you're thinking just run on any down, get some space there. They elect to throw it. It cost them. You get the sense that they were banking on the element of surprise, right? Everyone expects you to run it there. Let's take a shot. Let's throw it. Try and create some space, some room. And it went awry, didn't it? Here's a Jai. Trucks through him. Oh, man, right through him. And he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. This is a Ajayi, and he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Jay Ajayi taking it in from four yards out, and the Eagles take advantage of good field position on the turnover to cash this one in. And they're able to up the lead by one more. Elliott now to kick this one away.
This will be taken in at the one. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Had one tell me once, you know, we were having a tough patch. This two shall pass, this two shall pass, and finally we kept having a rough patch. He said, but you got to do something <laughs> Heads up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. That's gonna go as a loss of two and it'll be second down. And the offense will be looking to get at least some of this yardage back here at second and 12. This is Newton off the play, fake to McCaffrey. He's gonna leave this for his running back, it's complete. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. It'll be a pickup of just two, and it'll be third and ten. Newton to throw. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Michael Bannon in there to drop him for his fifth sack of the year. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Now a desperation throw. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Malcolm Jenkins. And he's able to bring it out five yards shy of midfield to the 45-yard line. Just a little bit of a rough stretch. Six interceptions now in these last two weeks combined. I know the easy thing is to go back to mechanics, footwork, things of that nature. I'm also wondering, is he getting fooled by what he's seeing on defense? Has the scouting report changed? Are they showing him things different than what he expected? For the second week in a row, he's throwing it to the guys in the wrong color shirts. Yeah, he better figure whatever the reason is. He better figure it out. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Second down following the run. They run again with a J. Room here to run. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. And he's going to be brought down at about the 33-yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. They run with a Jai. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth so far. Four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. And he'll take this for a short gain on what will prove to be the final play of this ball game. A road win in the National Football League. Charles, you never take that for granted, no matter who you're playing, no matter where you're playing. You take it and you run with it. <laughs> and you know you primed the pump all week in your own home facility.